poster right to here. To start our meeting, I'll ask Brother John Rex if he'd give our prayer and someone from VFW to follow us up. First Baptist Church. First Baptist Church. Behind Let's pray. Father in heaven, I thank you so much for this great city and for the leadership that you have placed uh, in those places. Father, I pray today that you would bless them, that you would continue to give them wisdom and knowledge. Father, that you would continue to bless this great city. And Father, we pray for your protection now, Father, over uh, those of our uh, servants serving on the police department, the fire department, those who are who are constantly putting their lives on the line to protect and to keep us safe. Father in heaven, we pray that you would keep them safe and that you bless them and their families. We thank you so much for the opportunity to come to you. And we do all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I believe for the record that Reverend John Rock Josh Hall. 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 In the Republic, which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I call this meeting to order, and I'll ask the clerk to call the roll. Mayor Johnson. Here. City Attorney Stevenson. Here. City Treasurer Mark. Here. Councilor Mundy. Here. Councilor Holt. Here. Councilor Croom. Here. Councilor Hutchison. Councilor Robinson. Present. Councilor Cat. Councilor Pulliam. Here. Councilor Taylor. Here. Councilor Harris. Here. And Councilor McClendon. Present. We got eight out of ten present, sir. Quorum present. We'll proceed with our meeting. First item on the business will be the bid openings for the utility, and it's on the wrong line, but it's uh, we'll ask that they be referred to the utility for disposition. So moved. Second. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed, they are referred to the utility commission. You have a copy of the minutes in your packet. Any additions or corrections? Could I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes? So moved. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed, they are approved. Had no items of old business brought forward. Under new business, we have two ordinances. May I make a motion? We read 01, get some of 01 and 02 by title only. Second. I have a motion and a second to read title only. All in favor by aye. Aye. Opposed, Mr. City. Attorney, would you read the title to 01? An ordinance to waive competitive bidding for decorations to be used in Worthington Park, Martin Luther King Park and Ride, and Big River Crossing Trailhead, approving a contract between the City of West Memphis and Festive Designs, Inc., declaring an emergency and for other purposes. Could I have a motion to suspend the rules and place it so on second reading? Second. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed, would you read it for the second time? An ordinance to waive competitive bidding for decorations to be used in Worthington Park, Martin Luther King Park and Ride, and Big River Crossing Trailhead, approving a contract between the City of West Memphis and Festive Designs, Inc., declaring an emergency and for other purposes. That concludes the reading. second reading by title. We've got to have a motion to suspend the rule and place it on its third reading. Have a motion and second. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed, would you read it for the third and the final time? An ordinance to waive competitive bidding for decorations to be used in Worthington Park, Martin Luther King Park and Ride, and Big River Crossing Trailhead, approving a contract between the City of West Memphis and Festive Designs, Inc., declaring an emergency and for other purposes. That concludes the third reading. Should I have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance? Second. Any discussion? Hold it. Could we have uh, Mr. Jackson come up and explain uh, who's paying for this and and uh, why we're, we're doing the uh, emergency bidding? Yes, sir. Uh, what's the question? The question was who was financing these, uh, these advertising promotion commission. Okay, and then the other question was why the emergency bidding? Well, we're running out of time. And to be honest with you, I should have had it on the agenda uh, two weeks ago, and I failed to get it on there. We had our commission meeting, and uh, we have, uh, as we do every year, uh, looked around the region for anyone who does this type of work for uh, commercial uh, decorating and trees and, and uh, everything that's involved in it, and the maintenance ongoing, um, because the gentleman that we work with, with uh, festive designs, he's lives in Memphis from here and uh, he's good about coming over if we have an issue 
Um, we don't know of anyone else in the region that does this type of work. Uh, I do apologize for uh, last minute. But in the Christmas world, we're, we're last minute. And we did bid it out two years ago. Yes, we, we have bid out and we, we will again. Uh, we didn't get anyone to bid besides uh, test the design. design. Um, and I, we, I don't even know how long we've been, he's been doing it for a long time. So uh, the, the, uh, the expenditure is going to be on A and P, is that correct? 100%. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson, no, I'm not. I oh, just, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sir. Mr. Jackson, would you kind of explain to them about what they're going to do on this? East End of Broadway from 14 back. My grandson came in a while back and asked about this. Yeah. I wish you would explain that so we would know, have something to tell him. Or he can come. He'll watch the TV, he'll know. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Marquarius. Marquarius. Marquarius Monday. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Monday. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we're going to have uh, 30 uh, Christmas tree decorations. Uh, they are, and I, first of all, I have to thank the utility department back here because uh, we can't do any of this without them. Uh, these are uh, LED lit, five foot wide, seven foot tall. Uh, Christmas tree, red, uh, green, and uh, and off white. Uh, good looking designs. They'll be from um, uh, seventh, no, uh, Ingram to uh, Martin Luther King on both sides of the road. Uh, we'll have uh, a pole decoration and, uh, and a banner, a pole decoration and a banner. Uh, and there's quite a bit of work. Uh, Apparently, in the past, we've done that, but when they change the poles out, they don't have outlets on those poles, so the utilities have to go back and put power on the poles that we need them to. Uh, but uh, I think your grand grandson will be very pleased, and I think all, all of West Memphis should be. I just wanted, wanted him to know that what he did made a difference. It made a big difference. Thank you. And I appreciate him coming, too. I hope everybody did. Yeah. Right. Anything else? Yeah, we have a motion and second on the floor to approve. All in favor by aye. aye. Uh, opposed? What's the emergency clause number? Paragraph three. We need a motion and second to approve the emergency clause, paragraph three. So, so move. Have a second. Second. All in favor by aye. aye. Uh, opposed? It is approved. Would you give that ordinance a number, Mr. Clerk? Yes, sir. That'll be ordinance number 2484. Next item on the agenda is a, would be the first reading of an ordinance on uh, heart monitors. An ordinance waiving competitive bidding for the purchase of two heart monitors for the West Memphis Fire Department and for other purposes. Could I have a motion and a second to suspend the rules and place it on the second reading? Second. 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 All in favor by aye. aye. Opposed, would you read it for the second time? An ordinance waiving competitive bidding for the purchase of two heart, heart monitors for the West Memphis Fire Department and for other purposes. Could I have a motion to further suspend the rules and place it on its third Move. reading? Second. All in favor by aye. aye. Opposed? It's carried. Would you read it for the third and the final time? An ordinance waiving competitive bidding for the purchase of two heart monitors for the West Memphis Fire Department and for other purposes. Could I have a motion and a second to approve this purchase? So moved. Second. Any discussion? We might want to uh, have Mr. Brogdon give an Come explanation up and explain as, it. Yeah. as to why we're uh, Having waiving done. competitive biddings. Did you explain why we're waiving competitive bidding with the urgency? Yeah, the, instead of having three companies, there's only two companies now that, that make cardiac heart monitors. And for what we're getting for those ones we're trying to choose, it would be a $10,000, $15,000 difference between the two. So the ones we're choosing or a better monitor, actually a little bit cheaper in price, and we get more for what we, you know, get a purchase. And they have to uh, accommodate the STEMI project, which meant that it's part of They'll, they'll do STEMI, they'll do the stroke projects, and everything that all the new stuff we have to do. They also, <coughs> they also match out the kind of equipment they have, right? Uh, yeah, the, the data will actually transfer to our data system, uh, Bluetooth, so the more information we get from the cardiac monitor, we go straight to our record keeping, uh, and the other one doesn't. So how many do we have now? We have four. They're all um, 
within date to be replaced. So we're looking to do two now and then put two in the budget for the first of next year. What's the life expectancy of one of those heart monitors? Ten years. Ten years. <coughs> okay. Any other questions for Chris? We have on the floor to purchase these monitors. All in favor by aye. aye. Opposed to their purchase. Would you give me the emergency clause? I don't think we have one on this no, one. No, no emergency clause on this one. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, it'll be effective in 30 days. You want a number? number. I need a number for the ordinance. It'll be ordinance number 2485. That took care of the items we've had for new business. Moving on, and uh, we'll look for the committee reports. We've got the A and P. Uh, yes, the Advertising and Promotion Commission met on September the 20th. We approved funding for Delta Arts, uh, $2,000 for the uh, children's or the community youth theater, and 2000 for the uh, art series to be used to market both of those outside of uh, Crittenden County. Uh, we uh, approved uh, the East Broadway Christmas decorations up to $12,000. We heard the uh, financial report. Uh, we are, are above collections from the previous year of $7,750 or 0.88 percent. The collections for July, which is the most recent month we had access to, was $134,266.35. For uh, events, the auditorium had two events for a total of 1,000 visitors. The Civic Center had 12 events for a total of 1,466 visitors. Wanted to uh, invite everyone out to the Left Bank Festival this, uh, this coming Saturday at 4 p.m. That's October the 6th. There'll be a 5K, a 10K run, catfish cooking contest, lots of fun. ANP is one of the sponsors of that, so be sure and come out to the um, Delta Regional River Park and Big River Crossing and enjoy it. That concludes my report, Mayor. Is there a, uh, a, a mission cost fee for coming out? Not there that is I not. Know of. Okay. Okay. I skipped one item on the agenda. I need permission to sign a contract with Crisp Contractors on the demolition and work for the library. So move. Okay. A motion say any discussion? All in favor by aye. Aye. Opposed? Permission is granted. Now I'll move back to the, we have the A and P. That we, how about the budget? Uh, Tracy came in, was sick, and had to leave. Yes, sir. We had a budget meeting, and, and the, uh, the uh, fire department came and addressed the issue with the monitors, and I, and I, and we contacted the city attorney to look into waiving competitive bidding. And so that's what we met on. Okay. One quick question, since Frank talking at this point. Uh, for us, I know probably everyone probably waiting around on the election, but what are we going to when are we going to start budget talks? I'm talking about four out two thousand for next year, rather. Well, we actually just it just really came up today, so I'll I'll get on that and try to have a, a, a schedule for it in two weeks, so we can all have a complete schedule. Yeah, well, I mean, I think we should be working on it a little yeah. bit now. What about the insurance? Insurance, uh, uh, the bids are out, but been put out for bid and. Uh, um, as of last week, okay. uh, Ms. Coleman put them out, and packets are being picked up as we speak. Okay. Anything else for the budget? Airport? Before we do that, what about the other permission here? Do we need to table this permission to approve the Roberta Jackson neighborhood building? Since it's on the agenda, we need to do something with it. Hmm? I believe it, it certainly doesn't need to do something. I believe the last comments we had was a work session Monday only. Yeah, we can right. We're, We're going to have a work session at five Monday. Yeah. But I mean, this is on the Maybe agenda. The we need to give me a motion and a second table it till the next meeting. Right. I make that motion to table it. I second it. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? It's tabled until the next meeting. There you go. Yeah. Now you got your airport. I still don't want you to go. <laughs> Airport Commission meeting. This is a report from the last time which I did not 
have, but today I do have it. Uh, I talked to Ms. Kendra and she sent it to me. This was uh, pertaining to the meeting of um, September 20th. The commission decided to keep the Karen Airport logo for the city's web page. And now as far as the $250,000, she says, a request for payment was sent to the Arkansas Department of Aeronautics for $250,000 for their portion of the South Airport expansion, which has been completed. So we sent them the money. Also, the commission wants to begin looking into ground leases as a means for building a corporate hangar. So we're going to try to find some more room to build a corporate hangar. And uh, that ends my report. Okay. Are there any other reports? That, these were all we named in pre council. Have we missed anybody? Moving on, I uh, have no appointments. Announcements? I got one. I like you, you got one, and Philip yeah. had one. Can I okay. have one? I'm in council. Go ahead, James. Council. Okay, Liga, <clears throat> Liga Aid of Arkansas, they will, be, they will be sponsoring a free expungement clinic, which will be selling records, uh, <coughs> clearing your criminal history. Uh, November the 2nd, 2018, at the First Assembly of God, 5, 513 North Missouri Street, West, West Memphis. Um, you will have to make uh, an appointment as well. So what I plan to do is make sure we get this on our access channel as well. Okay. Philip? Just to reiterate, Ramona already stole my thunder, but we do have the Glyph Bank Festival is coming up this Saturday. It's at 4 o'clock. We've got local musicians up there. We've got a catfish cooking contest. We've got a 5 and 10K run. We've got uh, food vendors. It's going to be really nice. I'm always amazed at the number of people that haven't been out to the Big River Crossing. It's really nice, and the whole point of this thing is to show people how nice it is on our side of the river. Our, our tagline, tagline is left of Memphis, but right on everything else. All right. So it's the Left Bank Festival this, this Saturday from 4 to 8. Y'all come on out. No, there's no admission fee. Now you will have vendors and food vendors and soft drinks and other drinks, so come on out. Okay. And my announcement is that uh, a Keep West Memphis Beautiful Cleanup Bliss has been scheduled for Saturday, October 27th. A lot of the people in the community wanted to do some cleaning before the winter time set in, and we've already um, registered with Keep Arkansas Beautiful, so we're expecting to have a lot of people participating in that fall cleanup this year. Okay. That concludes the one announcements that I had record of. There are there any others? Move, Move, moving adjourn. on on citizen request. We have Ms. June Simmons. Is June here? into that receptacle. 
when you pass 14th Street going east, I could not, of course, climb up there and see what was going on, but it was green. Now, whether that's a top that comes over and the, uh, the lights are plugged into that, I don't know. But it does have a spot there, or uh, maybe, I'm not really knowing, so that's why I'm asking. Uh, 14th to 19th has the period lights, but it's not part of the Main Street area. Exactly. So I thought, do you remember, Mr. Jackson, did we put, or not we, A&P, but did Main Street do make the decorations on this? I think Main Street only had decorations from Rose to 13th Street. To 14th, because that's the end of the Main Street. Yeah. I, I, Ms. let me check on that and see. I, because it's kind of odd, it's the same lot, but it's not part of the same funding district. And then at 19th, they changed to what, how it ends out East Broadway. So let, let me check. I'll get back with y'all call you. And, and, get clarity. I, I can't quite remember what we did last year and at, at Main Street we've not discussed this year's Christmas. So I, I'll get back to you. I'm not sure I know the answer. Miss Simmons, are you talking about decorative <coughs> lights or are you talking about just regular street lights? No, I'm talking about decorative okay. lights. Christmas lights. Because I know there's some street light issues down on that end of town. You have street lights issues down the way. Oh, yeah. Broadway, are you speaking? Or East Broadway. <laughs> well, that ends mine. Thanks to all of you. <laughs> that concludes the items I have on the agenda. All we need is a motion to adjourn. Motion. All in favor, by aye. Aye. Opposed, we are adjourned.